Hello students, let us discuss some important questions from D and F block elements. So the first question is, which of the 3D block elements may not be regarded as transition elements and why? So 3D series le elements le e dana transition element hai to consider chi yaathu the end one. So the answer is, zinc may not be regarded as transition metal because Neither Isidine nor Isidine 2 plus have incompletely filled D orbitals. So, sink in the ground state, sink in the common oxidation state at Isidine 2 plus, uh, completely filled D orbitals. So, 3D10 for us to configuration on a ground state, Isidine 2 plus the most common oxidation state, 3D10 configuration. So, completely filled D orbitals. That is transition metal I consider chain illa. So 3D series illa, uh, scandium model uh, sink variana. Scandium model sink variana 3D series. So atomic number 30 itola sink aana, E series illa, transition metal I consider chain. So the next question is. Calculate the magnetic moment of a divalent ion in aqueous solution if its atomic number is 25. So, atomic number 25 I told element in the varayana, manganese. Ana. So, it has electronic configuration 3D5 for us to. So, divalent ion in the varayana, it is Mn2 plus. So, the electronic configuration is 3D5 for us 0. Two electrons remove the configuration 3D5. Avu. So, the number of unpaired electrons will be. 5. Magnetic moment mu equals root of n into n plus 2 where n is the number of unpaired electrons. So magnetic moment calculate chain the equation another. So number of unpaired electrons 5 are so root of 5 into 5 plus 2 that is root of 5 into 7. So the answer is 5.9 Bohr magneton. Bm is the unit for uh, magnetic moment. Now let's see the next question that is Mn2 ion shows maximum paramagnetic character among the bivalent ions of first transition series duration. So, magnetic um, manganese in the case, la, Mn2 2 ions, Mn2 ions show maximum paramagnetic character uh, among the bivalent ions of first transition series. So, bivalent means 2 plus. So, Mn configuration 3D5 for us to Mn2 plus 3D5. For a zero, so due to the presence of five unpaired electrons, uh, it has uh, paramagnetic character. Or uh, 3D series le, all elements in the case no kumbaram. Our the bivalent ions two plus na varayna, our state le, eighty one kudal unpaired electrons were in the manganese in the case le, then so 3D five varna, so uh, five unpaired electrons are so maximum number of unpaired electrons is five varna, so. 5 unpaired electrons were in the one that is having maximum paramagnetic character. Next question is which of the 3D series of transition metals exhibited the large number of oxidation states and why? 3D series la a term could the large number of oxidation states can another the metal on the one. So, the answer is manganese exhibit the largest number of oxidation state because it has 7 electrons in the S as well as D orbitals which can take part in bond formation. So, manganese in the case la 3D5 for us to one configuration. So, 5 unpaired electrons on the So, 5 plus 2 7. So, 7 electrons will be participating for bond formation. So, maximum 7 electrons on the Adhukunda, plus 7 will be the maximum oxidation state for manganese. So, manganese exhibits the largest number of oxidation state. So, D electrons are S electrons. Both are having um, comparable energy. S um, D in the mill energy with the same energy. Two orbitals uh, electrons bond formation. So, adhukunda, 7 electrons um, uh, manganese in the case. So, plus 7 will be the maximum oxidation state of uh, manganese. The next question is scandium 
salts are white give reason scandium atomic number 21 configuration is 3d1 forest to outer configuration 3d1 forest to scandium 3 plus that is the most common oxidation state for scandium 3 plus so uh, three electrons remove 3d0 forest zero. so there is there are no electrons in the d orbital so scandium 3 plus does not have unpaired electrons unpaired electrons only uh, therefore cannot undergo d d transition by absorbing light from visible region Therefore, its salts are white. So, DD transition nadakkaan ayta partially filled electrons D orbitals il ondengil maathrame a uh, uh, salt color theriwe yullu. So, colorless aana allengil white aana nnu parayin bol there may not be any unpaired electrons in the D orbital. Angani aanengil DD transition that is lower D level in the higher D level leke electrons in the transition possible alla. So, angani aanengil dhuan daana its salts are white. Another question. Silver atom has completely filled d orbitals for d10 in its ground state. How can you say that it is a transition element? So, silver in the case it is a transition metal. Transition metal on a ground state configuration okay, d is completely filled uh, d orbital on because it can exhibit plus 2 oxidation state which has incompletely filled d orbitals. So, AG the ground state le 4D10 5S1 configuration. D le completely filled on. And now, most common oxidation state at AG2 plus le 4D9 5S0. That is the 2 electrons remove 4D9 configuration le So, the uh, d orbital has incompletely filled Mm, electrons incompletely filled shells shell is there so uh, complete incompletely filled d orbitals all the uh, silver name namaka transition metal lighter consider chaya next question the third ionization enthalpy of manganese is exceptionally high why so third ionization enthalpy of manganese in the variable manganese in the third electron remove and go to energy high on in the one so manganese in the configuration ground state electronic configuration is 3d5 4s2 so second electron remove in uh, configuration 3d5 4s0 so 3d5 4s0 in the variable 3d5 that is the stable configuration is a half filled d orbital so, after losing two electrons, it has half filled d orbital which is more stable. That is why Mn2 plus has exceptionally high third ionization enthalpy. That is the energy required to remove third electron is very high. So, E second um, stage, la da, either second, uh, second step, Mn2 plus na vara in our state, la, electronic configuration half filled ana, alingi half filled d orbital varam it's a stable configuration so a stable configuration il ninnu adutha electron ne maatru adayathu mn3 plus ilekku poganam so adutha electron ne third electron ne remove cheyanamengil ee stable configuration il ninnu electron ne remove cheyandathu so stable configuration il ninnu electron ne remove cheyan it is difficult adunde kodukkanda ionization enthalpy energy nu parayunnathu high aayirikkum so adundana third ionization enthalpy of manganese high ennu parayunnathu Next question, which is a stronger reducing agent, Cr2 plus or Fe2 plus and why? So, A is a stronger reducing agent, Cr2 plus and Fe2 plus. Ano. So, Cr2 plus, Cr3 plus agunna, a uru state engane aana no kanam. Adu bole, Fe2 plus, Fe3 plus agunna, a uru state engane aana no kuga. Apam, adu le e da ana, elupam ennolal no kuga. Apam, angane namak reducing agent ne kandu vidikya. Karanam, reducing agent undergoes oxidation oxidation number increase in no non number months lacuna so reducing agent undergoes oxidation so oxidation not a can elupam arcana either on a pattern oxidize jay the pogun other the oxidation number could not know kapam adium chromium in day ground state configuration 3d5 4s1 on so cr2 plus the variable 3d4 on a configuration CR2 plus. Then CR3 plus. That is the oxidation nadakunu, oxidation number kudunu. Angane verimbol. Configuration 3D3 yav. So 3D3 yavumbol namakariyan. That is a half filled T2G3 configuration which is more stable. So T2G EG in the varna and set of orbitals under D orbitals in a randite namaku uh, divide yam T2G EG. So T2G le moon anam vana verimbol. 
can be considered as a half filled configuration t2g3 configuration is a stable configuration so 2 will nina 3 lake or law oxidation while are easy at an arakunu and namukana and then iron in the case la fe2 plus the variable 3d6 for a zero fe3 plus armor 3d5 configuration and so 3d5 configuration a call stability or the 3d3 configuration on oxidation fe2 plus in fe3 plus lake all oxidation a call elephant cr2 plus in the cr3 plus lake or law oxidation on so, I'm going to very well, oxidation easy at very another CR2 plus in the case lana. So, it is the uh, stronger oxidizing uh, reducing agent. So, reducing agent undergoes oxidation or concept to no key. The answer is yam, but so here CR2 plus is the strong reducing agent. Another question is reactivity of transition elements decreases almost regularly from scandium to copper so 3d series la scandium mudal copper vare pogumbol adha left ilnu right lekku pogumbol reactivity decrease cheyunu adinu kaaranam undu left ilnu right lekku pogumbol namukku ariyam ionization enthalpy koodu adha electron ne remove cheyan kodukanda energy nu parayunnathu increase cheyum left ilnu right lekku pogumbol so angane aavumba tendency to lose electrons decreases tendency electrons ne lose cheyanla tendency kore so ori metal ne sambandhichu electrons ne lose cheyunnathana metal ne property angane aanu ad reactive aagunathu aa electrons ne lose cheyunna aa tendency koraynu ennu parayumbol aa metal ne reactivity koraynu povunu nanu artham so angane verumbam left ilnu right lekku pogumbol reactivity of transition elements decreases Next question, lanthanides, uh, what, what is the different oxidation states exhibited by lanthanoids or lanthanides? So, oxidation states, uh, lanthanoids in the case, uh, they mostly show plus 3 oxidation state, but some of them show plus 2 and plus 4 oxidation states also due to stability of electronic configuration like 4F0, 4F7, 4F14. So, E electronic configuration, stable electronic configuration and E electronic configuration let and Vendi. Chilla elements, lanthanoids in the case, plus 2, plus 4 oxidation states. And then mostly it, show, uh, it shows um, plus 3 oxidation state. Then next question, how would you account for the following? The oxidizing power of oxo anions are in the order VO2 plus less than Cr2O7 2 minus less than MnO4 minus. So, E or oxidizing power, and the order on go to the E oxo anions in the oxidizing power. So, E oxo anions in the oxidizing power, in the number. Uh, justify J and Vendida from either Shiriano, Elio, Alangil, either correct Anna number the Lakina. So, E case la number the knock and other E transition metals in the oxidation state to contribute Chamadi transition metals in the oxidation state Kudi Kudi Anna Vedina the Angil, E Uru Kyrium, correct Anna number the Lake. It is because V in the lower oxidation state. We have oxidation state. No, v carry ki meet to lower oxidation state. That is kind of CR and that is kind of MN. So, uh, it is because V in lower oxidation state is less stable than CR, which is less stable than MN. So, that is why MnO4 is the best oxidizing agent and VO2 plus is the least. So, in e case, E MnO4 minus argum A2 nulla oxidizing agent. That is the oxidizing oxidation state no kumbol. V A de argum A2 um koro. That is kainit argum Cr na. That is kainit ana Mn ni ne verin. So that is namukko no kam. VO2 plus India no kia la. V A de dhan namukko kandu vidi kinda. So X plus oxygen de the minus two into two equals plus 1. So, plus 1 is the charge. So, x is equal to uh, plus 1 plus 4. So, 5 is the plus 5 is the oxidation state of V. V is the oxidation state in the plus plus 5. Then comes Cr2 O7 2 minus. So, our day Cr run run on. So, 2x number go to come. 2x plus uh, minus 2, oxygen to the minus 2, minus 2 into 7, 
equals charge is minus 2. So 2x is equal to minus 2 plus 14. So x is equal to 12 by 2 that is equal to plus 6. So CR and oxidation state in the plus 6 side. Then MN O4 minus in the variable X MN in the other country in the so X plus uh, oxygen to the minus 2 into 4 equals charges minus 1. So X is equal to minus 1 plus 8 that is equal to plus 7. So manganese into the manganese into the plus plus 7 I D Q. So, the oxidation state increases from left to right and the months lagum. So, uh, we can justify this decreasing order. So, we can say that MnO4 minus has the, uh, it is the best oxidizing agent. So, we, we have discussed some questions from D and F block elements. So, the next part will be discussed in the next video. Thank you. Thank you for watching.